quite excited now because we thought we were going to have to abandon this, but no, we're back on track again. Uh, still a lot of plane activity. We can see all the planes coming by, Brian. There's loads of them. There's another one there behind us. Unfortunately, I don't think the camera will be picking these up very well, but uh, there definitely is a, a race in progress here. Absolutely. It's just total plane noise. There's another one. It's like the Battle of Britain here or something. What's going on? Dive, dive, dive. Schmell, schnell. Fuck wolf, fuck wolf. Spitfire, spitfire. Digga, 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 digga. Sorry, I'm getting a bit excitable there. Sorry. So this is the gate we've got to get over. Watch out for the bull. We're doing the dog leg here again. There we go, we're over. And there's the gate down there that we have to go to. Right, bro. Let's do it. Still lots of aeroplane noise going on here. Lots of nettles, bro's got some shorts on. Here we go. Oh yeah, bro, give it some money. There we are, well done. Are we through? I think I'll get through there. You're oh, live well. with We're in unknown territory now as we're heading down onto the river bank here. This is the River Tay. Um, now I've got a little story to tell you, but I'll tell you when we, when we get to the... Uh, yes, one of Jag's famous stories. Uh, when we get to the... The castle, I will tell you. You okay there, bro? Here you are yes, live with Spiz cameras. We come across an old ruin. Here it is, look. Oh, what a setting, man. Look at this. There's the River nice Tay. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. There we are. Look at that. So many distractions today. We found these old stairs leads down to this little beach bit. There we go. Old tree is a massive bit of elephantitis there. Oh, where we call it. It. Yeah, yeah, it's got a tumour. But then there's another tree wrapping itself around this one. Wow, look at that. Excellent. Getting very close. Well, the woods have now started here, so we have to look up to the left. Look up to the woods. And we should be able to see some remains of a wall. There's a lovely little jetty sticking out. Pun? I don't know. I'll be around the corner. Much excitement. excitement. We've found it. it. Is it? Mucho trepidatione. We have found the ruins. They're up there in the woods somewhere. Here we go. We see them. We found them. Excellent. So there we go. We're now live. Let's just calm as we go. Let's try to get up this path here. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Oh, nearly fell. Is it, oh, it's a bad wire job. Okay. So there it is through the trees, people. Can you see it? Yeah, I can. There it is there. Right, we're going to have to go over here, though. We're going to have to struggle. It's maybe a bit further down, yeah. I don't know. That's, uh... Okay, we're going in. We're going in. You let us just... Spiz accident there. Hi, Dr. Yeah. Spiz stick. Are we live? We're live. Was well, a kind of McCusey. I you? know, honestly. Yeah. Here we go, folks. These are the walls of the castle. Not much left as they were burnt down. Oh, look at this. We found it. There we go. There's more of it. Goes all the way along there. About 30 metres by, I don't know, 100 or something. There's more for at the back there. Here's Bro clambered up. There's a weeb, I'm afraid, sorry. Very basic brickwork, just stones and mud, really. All right. I'm standing now. At the corner, at the apex of the castle, there would have been a tower here. Unfortunately, they've all been knocked down at the angles. There were four towers at this part. Um, but as you can see, it's just been knocked down. Now, there were tales of a drawbridge here. Well, I suppose I better tell you my story now, oh, yes. eh? Oh, here we go. Yes. Hang on. So, the historical bit about this, I'm going to tell you, was that uh, William Wallace ambushed uh, a chap called James Butler, who far outnumbered William Wallace and his troops, but William Wallace uh, ambushed him just somewhere over there in a, 
a thick wooded hollow just where the River Isla and the Tay uh, sort of join. So what happened was James Butler and his men, they scarpered all the way back here to uh, King Claven Castle. And as they got here, they tried to pull the drawbridge up, but William Wallace was hot on their tail. And he got there before the bridge managed to, to close. So they pulled the bridge down again and they rushed in and they slaughtered everybody in the castle, apart from Lady Butler, some children and two priests. They were the only ones that survived. And then William Wallace stole all the treasure that was in here, but uh, word got around that William Wallace was here, so reinforcements came. Uh, William Wallace scarpered uh, when he heard the reinforcements were coming and hid treasure in the woods somewhere, but unfortunately uh, they fought off the reinforcements and they went back and they found the treasure. However, there were two silver coins found in the centre of this castle. Ooh. I'm not actually sure when, it wasn't too long ago. Um, so that's the historical bit. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> 11th century. Now, this could have been where the drawbridge was. As you can see, there's a kind of like a maybe a moat ran around the side of this castle. I'm on top of the ramparts, as high as I can get. See the castle right behind me there, in this lovely wooded area. Fantastic. I just had bro clumping through the woods where he must be behind me, I can hear him. There he is. Pheasant pen or so. been daring again. Good. I live with Spiz Cam. I found a kind of a door here. Or maybe it's a secret bit in the wall where they used to hide. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Oh yeah, that's interesting, right? It could indeed be a wee priest hidey hole or something. Hmm. Oh, here's Bro coming out. Yeah, I don't know what that wee bit was. Oh, it might be, I don't know. Yeah, it could be. And, uh, by the way, William Wallace actually burnt this down. So that's why the walls are all just sort of ruins now. After he's finished in here, he just burnt the whole thing down. It obviously had some strategical points, but uh, right on the, the confluence of the river at the junction, so obviously it had strategic importance. Uh, yeah, I think this has been a really good explore. I've really enjoyed the walk up here. Excellent. Well, it's time to give a mark on the old spinometer. Now for this, because the research was really good, uh, we had a bit of a struggle finding it and uh, we've had a lovely walk along to it actually, now we've found it. It's a fantastic ruin and a fantastic memoir to the times of Robert the Bruce and William Wallace and all that kind of stuff. So the history is here. So for this reason alone, this is going to get a rather large six and a half out of oh, ten. Oh, that's amazing. That's exactly the same mark as I thought. Well, there you go, bro. Amazing. So in tune with each other. That yes. six and a half out of ten is a well-deserved uh, Mark for this fantastic Kinclavin castle. Thank you. She came here, we found some strange fungi. Look at this fantastic bit of the river here. There's the river Isla joining up with the Tay right there. There we go. So you can see from here just how high up the castle is. So obviously, it had a lot of strategical. Importance as well. There you go. Lovely little spot here. And there's the bridge. Six arches. There we go. That's the bridge we came over. Awesome. Fortunately, Bro couldn't get this far. But here we have Glen Isla Bridge. Oh no, the River Isla Bridge. Beg your pardon. Sorry, there it is. Look at that. Brilliant. We like to be, uh, what's the word, bro? 
continuity or whatever they call it. You know, we like to Contin contingency. No, well, continuity. Yeah, co we like to make every, sure everything's all together. And but oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, if you carried on walking down here, you would eventually end up at uh, Stanley, where we were a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yes. Remember when we went to the mills and the lathes and things? So if we carried on walking. Last Sunday. It was the last Sunday, a couple of Sundays ago. Yeah, anyway. Wednesday. Yeah, well, it was Wednesday, midweek mm -hmm. spiz it was, yeah. So that's uh, where we would have ended up if we carried on walking. So as you can see, oops, there's people there. We've been spotted on private land. Oh, oh dear. Actually going to carry on the adventure to try and get to this uh, abandoned old railway bridge. But there's uh, a lot of fishermen on the, on the other bank looking across. So we're going to have to be very stealthy and careful. Right, very unusual activity over the water. There's men in white suits with hoods and everything. Oh, look, we're going to be exposed here, bro. Oh, no. Right. Let's go for it. Okay. We're going to walk along that bridge just along there. That's where we're heading. So, you let's go. people, honestly. Bro's just swallowed a fly. <laughs> and I just got a fright when a wood pigeon came flying out of nowhere there. So, honestly. Right, we're almost here. The salmon, no? Oh, we saw a salmon as well, yeah. Salmon yeah, there's been lots of uh, sort of fish activity. I reckon this is prime fishing land that we're on at the minute. That's why it's kind of like lots of men in white suits and stuff. Almost here now. Unfortunately, I'm on low battery. I think I've got about 20% left, so we might have to change over to to Bro's camp. But we're, we're here, and there's an old ruined cottage. Oh, oh. can we get across there, though? Oh dear! Hang on a minute. Oh no, it's a big oh, ravine. It could be spoiled at the last minute. Oh, it's a big chasm. Hang on, let's see if we can do it. Go on. Oh, he's done it. Well done, bro. Indeed. We have made it. And I'm here. There's an old ruin. Let's go and see the old cottage. There's somebody cutting wood. Can you believe it? Damn it. Let's go around the other Boys, side. Uh, LI15 or something. Oh, Jesus. Stepped up to the top. Right, we're inside this old cottage. Uh, pretty manky. Fireplace. Yep. Okay. As far as I can go. It's obviously the railway line, but so there's caravans and all sorts over there, bro. Yeah. So there we are. That's the. I think those men are uh, the beekeeping, actually. Fall, fall, fall. Oh, boo. <laughs> well done. Foiled by the bridge, though. So if you do want to come and visit Kinclaven Castle, you have to take that road there and come down the track to Kinclaven Farm and uh, ask the farmer permission just like we did. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy that road. Bye bye everybody. See you again next time. Thank you for watching. We love you. Spiz out. Well on the way home folks, I have to admit that I have been reading the map today and I haven't done it very well at all. So I have an apology to Bro. Bro, I'm very yes, sorry for... thank you. I accept your apology. Thank you for, for always getting on to you about map reading. I didn't realise how difficult it was. It's just because I'm always driving, you see, so... <laughs> so I do apologise, Bro, for my rude attitude Pathetic. over recent spizzes. Pathetic. Yes. Yeah, so do you accept my apology? Yes, you do, so... I do, yes. I accept your apology. Thank you, Bro. <laughs> Number one for Tayside and Fife play Niles Bar.